It's politics, but not like anything Spain's ever seen before. These are supporters of Podemos, the country's newest and fastest growing political party. It began as an anti-austerity protest movement in the wake of the financial crisis that left Spain with the second highest unemployment figures in Europe. It also turned Podemos' leader, 38-year-old political science lecturer Pablo Iglesias, into an unlikely statesman. We say to those unpatriotic leaders that turned the institutions into their own private club, we say today, long live freedom, long live equality, long live fraternity. Let's go forward, let's go forward, we can do it. Since the December election failed to provide an outright winner, the parties teamed up with the communists to become United Podemos, the new face of left-wing socialism. They want to present themselves as a as what they call the transversal party. They, they want to appeal to voters of different persuasions, and they have been successful in that. And this is partly because, well, some fudging of the issues and some real concessions. It's a combination of the two. For the last 40 years, power has flip-flopped between the Conservative People's Party, led by the country's outgoing Prime Minister, Mariano Rajoy, up until now, their main challengers have been the socialist Pesoya party. But allegations of corruption and political infighting have added to Podemos' growing appeal. The opinion polls now put the party in second place. The new rebranded United Podemos continues to take Spain by storm, attracting large numbers of young voters who are disenfranchised with the political establishment here. But this election comes shortly off the back of Britain's decision to leave the European Union, which has, to a certain extent, cast a shadow of doubt over this entire election. The question is whether these voters will continue to pledge their support to these political newcomers. On the other side of Madrid, Conservative Party supporters are holding their own rally. This is a very different Spain. Conservatives say they've helped improve the economy, allowing the country to better handle economic shocks, including the UK's surprise departure from the EU. I've supported the Conservatives since 1982. I'll die supporting them. The Conservatives have created many jobs whilst in power. The left always ruin our country. Spain's political landscape is changing. It's now more fractured than ever. Many hope this new election will finally end the six-month political vacuum, but there are no guarantees. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Madrid.